Day five, stage five, D-Day. It has been a long week, a long course, a long test of speed, stamina, and ultimately supremacy. Those aches and pains came to the start line with the runners for the final push, along with all their hopes and ambitions. Everyone had a target for the day, for the week in their minds. Only one could win, one man, one woman. The contenders knew who they were. Tom Jolly had been in the hunt from the start and he was determined to set a hot 4.10k pace for the familiar chasing pack. Tommy Chen, Salome Alacra, Luke Hansen, the usual suspects. Alice McGushan got out in front in the ladies' race, but Caitlin Steen caught and passed her coming in to checkpoint one. Today's route followed three sides of a triangle, a punishing ascent followed by a fast, forgiving return to earth. The ups and downs of ultras are very different, different skill sets, different mindsets, a complete test of what champions are made of. Ultra X veteran Tom Jolly proved the complete champion a distant figure raising the bar to heights that nobody else could get close to. He crossed the line in 4.27, 18 minutes ahead of Luke Hansen. Exceptional. Luke proved a worthy rival and could be proud of finishing second. Tommy Chen took the final place on the podium in a very respectable five hours. Caitlin Steen was always the woman to beat, and nobody could. She led from beginning to end, five straight days as female number one. Alice pushed her hard and was an outstanding runner-up. She'll be back, back stronger still. Ultra newcomer Charlotte Kirk took third place. Just 13 minutes separated the top three. The inaugural Ultra X World Championships have brought out the best in the best. Slovenia has been one of the stars of the week, a gorgeous monster of a host nation. The competition has been intense and demanding, but those demands have bonded and brought everyone together. It's been emotional. We'll be back in 2024, and we'd love to see you there, if you think you've got what it takes. Have you?